Look, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty bricked up. I'm Steve, my midi chromosome count is off the chart, and you're watching Short Takes. This time I bring to you my second most anticipated game of 2022, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. But before we dive bare butt cheek first into our under the bed Lego bin of nostalgia and sadness, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my editor Isak, who is doing the brunt of the work for this short take. Just in case you hadn't noticed, the editing quality has spiked. But let's dump this UCS Millennium Falcon 75192 onto the table and hope we don't lose any pieces. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was developed by Traveler's Tales, or TT Games. I don't think they actually know which name they want to use. Crisis of Identity aside, these magnificent dudes have brought us the entire Crash Bandicoot series Oops, I mean Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity. About 90% of all previous LEGO games, Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse, and perhaps most notably, the Weakest Link video game adaptation. Which does mean, a long time ago in a very bricky galaxy far, far away in 2005, they brought us the original LEGO Star Wars video game and it was an absolute BANGER! Published by Warner Bros. Interactive, who we went over in the Back for Blood short take, but here's a refresher if you need it. Back for Blood, Hitman, LEGO Games, Middle Earth, Shadow of Nouns, Mortal Kombat series, <gasps> Batman Arkham, Hogwarts Legacy, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Cars 3, Driven to Win. The Skywalker Saga is the sixth LEGO Star Wars game, and let me check my notes, make sure I have this number right. The fucking 34th major LEGO game! The Skywalker Saga, much like all other LEGO games, what came before, is designed for ankle biters, so it's pretty accessible to literally anybody that picks it up. That being said though, the combat surprisingly got damn deep for a LEGO game, with people going as far as to call it LEGO May Cry, due to your ability to link combos together like a Super Street Fighter V sweat gorilla. But for those of you who do know what grass feels like, worry not, because you can get by just fine by subjecting your controller to a Ritalin rampage. And for you chronic collectaholics like myself, guess what? There's an almost intimidating amount of collectibles and side missions in this children's video game. At the time of recording this, there are 384 of your favorite characters from all six movies. And those three terrible fan-made movies. 119 ships, including the indentured Servant One, and just a casual Trade Federation capital ship. Like what? Yeah, you can get capital ships that you can land in and walk around inside of. And like I said before, oodles, tons, a smorgasbord of side missions for you to ADHD hyperfocus on. There's a whole ass perk system! And no, I don't mean Percocets, I mean upgrades you can get to all of the new character classes like Jedi, Hero, Scavenger, Scoundrel, Villain, Darkseid, Astromech Droid, and Protocol Droid. Dude, come on! The iconic mini kits have made their return in the form of those micro fighter ships you see in the target checkout line. And yeah, you can fly those little bastards around in space because who needs a cockpit? when you have this much unmitigated swag. There are 24 planets you can explore from all across the saga, from Kamino to Tatooine, and it is so much fun to just wander around Mos Eisley Spaceport and just go sightseeing. There's so much stuff to do. 
as I am positive you could guess, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga follows none other than The Skywalker Saga. So Star Wars Episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all included. So you can relive all of your favorite moments from the Star Wars Saga, like killing your wife, giving your son a handicap, and the dab heard round the galaxy. Traveler's Tales even added the Doodoo Feces fan-made movies, so you can play through those too if you want. I don't, but I have to because I'm gonna 100% this game. But that's enough spousal abuse, for now. And time for my not-so-hot take on this pretty decent video game. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I would go as far as to say this is the definitive edition of, like, the LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga, but it's not without fault. There are a handful of game-breaking bugs, like getting stuck in menus and not being able to exit them. No audio. Boss fights can get stuck, like, here. I couldn't progress past this point during the Anakin fight. Another major con, to me at least, is the fact that there's no character creator at this time, so I can't get into a back to tank and make some horrible fucking dumpster baby. And I feel that some story points were a little bit rushed due to the fact that this game changed the formula from six levels per movie down to five. But it is definitely not all bad. There's so much stuff to do, and this game is gorgeous for what it is. There's so many playable characters, brand new level designs, combat, again, it's just buttery smooth. The joke's actually pretty fucking good. There's split screen co op, dude! How many games have split screen co op now? There's also a mumble mode. You know the classic ma 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 from the the original game. You can there's a setting to turn that on here. But if you're a Lego fan or a Star Wars fan or both, I seriously recommend you try this out. It's just it's such a good time. It's the classic Lego video game charm coupled with the genuinely emotional parts of Star Wars. But again, I am very easily entertained, and it's important to form your own opinions on these things, so don't take what I say as gospel. I'm not fucking Moses. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another one of these, and on what? Check me out on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all that fun stuff. And join the Discord, I'm pretty active in there, it's a, it's a shit show. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!